my favorite memes are flight attendant memes because they really are just so spot on. So I picked a few of my favorite flight attendant memes from Instagram and I want to kind of explain to you guys why they're so funny and what they mean. Okay, let me just scoot over here so I have this nice area here to put the meme. This is probably my favorite flight attendant meme because it is so true, you guys, so true. It says every FA during a layover, and FA is just short for flight attendant. So this is so true. Most flight attendants, me included, love getting two beds when we get to our layover hotel. One bed we kind of use to maybe spread out our clothes, our stuff, put our electronics on, get our uniform you know, laid out nice and ready for the next day. And the other bed is the actual bed that we use to sleep in. So this flight attendant is eating like crackers or cookies in one bed and like messing it all up. And then he jumps into the nice, clean, fresh bed to actually go to sleep. So if I do eat on the other bed, I'll make sure like I kind of like pull out the covers just so that the people cleaning the room the next day know that, hey, that bed was kind of used a little bit. <laughs> Another one of my absolute favorites, my savings after one year of flying. And it's just a whole bunch of pens from different hotels. I see Courtyard Marriott, I think I see Hilton, uh, Hyatt, Doubletree. <laughs> Once you become a flight attendant, you will have more hotel pens than you ever thought possible. Last time I did my video of like, what's in my flight attendant tote bag, I literally had eight hotel pens. And I've had more at some point. As a flight attendant, you really need pens so much when you're, you know, taking customer preferences, when you're counting meals out, or a passenger asks you for a pen. So I always grab pens when I need them. I make sure I'm fully stocked. And when flight attendants really do go through their bags, <laughs> So many pens. Okay, this this one might be my next favorite flight attendant meme. This is so true. Okay, so what we see here is a bunch of different shoes, and on the first shoes, they're super high heels, and it says new hire. I really do see the new hire flight attendants with really high, big heels. Walking through the airport, you're like, she's a new hire. She's such a new hire. And then when you've got a little bit more seniority, I'm at five years seniority, and this is exact, this looks like the shoes that I wear. I'm like, this is so true. And then you see 18 years seniority, and the heel gets a little bit smaller. 25 years seniority, you're wearing like the clog type shoes. And then 35 years seniority, they're like black tennis shoes. I don't know if I've actually seen that, but this is pretty accurate. Flight attendants be like day trip, and it's a flight attendant with like one, two, three, four, five, six bags. <laughs> when us flight attendants are going on like just a turn or a day trip where we're just maybe going from our home base to, to maybe another base and then flying back to our home base, that's considered a turn or one day trip. And we still will take so much stuff with us because you never know what if the flight gets canceled or the plane gets delayed. We want to have stuff with us to be prepared if we have to stay overnight. Or I feel like we're always prepared for something, so we always have a ton of stuff that we bring with us, even for a day trip. <laughs> okay, this meme I've seen with so many different captions, but this is so funny because it's basically the little cat hiding from like these big scary dogs and it says 10 minutes left of standby is the cat and then crew scheduling are the dogs and the cat's just hiding. So as a flight attendant, you have to serve what's called standby and it's basically when you go to the airport and you sit at the crew lounge and you're probably in uniform and you just sit there for the amount of time that your standby shift is. So maybe it's four hours, Maybe um, it's five or even six. Our standbys are about six hours. And when you've got 10 minutes left, you're just hoping, you're like, please, crew scheduling, do not call me. I do not wanna have to go out on a trip after I've already been sitting for like five or six hours. The last thing I wanna do is go fly a trip. So you're just hoping crew scheduling doesn't call. But this is kind of funny because you can't hide from crew scheduling. If they're gonna get you, they're gonna get you. <laughs> Okay, this one is basically Kermit the Frog and he's got his bathrobe on, he's got maybe like a cup of tea, his remote, and it looks like he's just about to start watching TV or he's already watching TV. 
and the caption says crew after the third time to the same destination and this is so true you guys once i've been to a place even twice i'm like I've already seen everything. I know what this town has to offer. I know what this country has to offer. And it's just like, sometimes you just want to relax. You don't want to go out. You don't want to do anything. You know, I'll come back from a trip and they'll be like, oh, where'd you come back from? I'm like, oh, London. They're like, what'd you do? Oh my gosh, did you go do this? Did you go do that? I'm like, oh, I've been there so many times. I just kind of relaxed in the room. And then people are like, wait, what? You just relaxed in the room? You didn't go out? You didn't go explore? I'm like, I've literally been there like 20 times. No, I went to my favorite grocery store. I went to one shop and then I went home and ordered room service and did nothing. Okay. <laughs> Crew Envy. This meme actually comes from Jetlag Comics and this is actually a flight attendant who creates these comics. And this is so funny because when you finish a trip, like your whole crew, you're just like tired, you know? Like I'm just like, oh, that was a long trip. We worked three legs or we just came back from international. We worked all night, we're tired. And you're just kind of like walking through the airport like, oh my God. And then you'll see this crew that's like bright eyed and about to start their trip and they look super perfect. And you're just like, oh, hey guys, have a great trip. <laughs> And you just gotta look at them like, wow, they look so nice. Crew Envy does exist. This is how people think it is to date a flight attendant versus how it really is. I really feel like all my friends and family really think that my life is just so glamorous. I like have this little hat, I've got my gloves, everything's like perfect, I always look so nice. But the reality is, as a flight attendant, we're always tired. We're always going in and out of so many different time zones and just working so much and dealing with all the chaos of an airport like constantly that we are really so tired. So this is so true. Like people think dating a flight attendant, it's like, ooh, she's this like Britney Spears toxic girl. But really we're like, when we have downtime, we're sleeping and just catching up. <laughs> Flight attendant facial expressions. Happy, angry, during a delay, and when asked for free stuff. We like have one expression. I feel like as flight attendants, things always go wrong in our job. So even if we're having like the best day ever, we're smiling. Even if we're delayed, it's like, well, you, you know, you just gotta go with the flow. So much is out of your control that it's just like, I'm still happy. <laughs> If the flight's delayed, if you're angry, if you're in a bad mood, if somebody's asking for like 10 drinks, you're just like, okay, whatever, go with the flow. And you know, you just smile. <laughs> flight attendant emotional support beverage. <laughs> if you guys have watched any of my vlogs, I'm always at the Starbucks. I'm always getting a coffee before a flight because it's like most of the time I know like, okay, I've got an eight hour flight ahead of me and I want to start this flight off with, you know, caffeine. This honestly, this is just so true. I feel like I always see flight attendants walking around with coffee and I feel like because we're always up really early and then we're like up really late or we're working all nighters or we just worked, you know, three legs, we just need pick-me-ups. So I feel like coffee and flight attendants just like go hand in hand. And again, this is another meme from Kelly who runs Jetlagged Comics. And this is just spot on. This is so hilarious. It's one flight attendant crying and another flight attendant kind of like comforting her like, shh, shh it's okay, it's okay. And the caption says, and then they all took off their headphones and and paid attention. It was the most beautiful exit row briefing ever. <laughs> We're required to brief the exit rows if a flight attendant is not sitting in a jump seat at that exit row. We have to make sure that the passengers seated in that area are willing and able to assist in the event of an emergency. And we need a verbal yes confirmation from each passenger. So we've got to give this briefing. So when we go up to the passengers, if they all have their headphones on or if they're on their phone, it's like, you guys, you guys, listen, please, headphones off. I just need 15 seconds of your time. So this is just so funny because she's like, they all just listened to me and it was just beautiful. <laughs> I mean, don't we all love it when everything goes smooth in our job? <laughs> all right, guys, those were some of my favorite flight attendant memes. I think they were so spot on. I always get a little chuckle, a laugh 
out of aviation memes because they're they're so true. So if you guys have any super funny memes, even if they're not flight attendant memes, DM me, send them to me on my Instagram. I love funny memes. Who doesn't love funny memes? Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, be nice to your flight attendant and I will see you on my next video.